Hello, everybody, and welcome. We're going to go ahead and start to explore an idea that I think many of you will really enjoy. They're called McAnimals, a mechanical animal. Okay, so what this looks like, basically, there are lots of artists. Um, one that we're going to start to look at in class is an artist. Her name is Patricia Rennick. There's another one. His name was Murray Tinkleman. And both of them started to show this idea of a mechanical animal. So, I mean, many of us are fascinated with machines and how they work and gears and things like that. All of us, I know, have loved an animal at one time or another in our lives or have them living with us, right? Let me show you, though, the work of Patricia Rennick. Murray Tinkleman tended to show stuff that was, his work was 2D, so he did drawings. Patricia Rennick, though, she showed work that was 3D, um, three-dimensional. It has form. You can see it from the top, the side, and the bottom. Now, this is one of her large-scale pieces. This is a triceratops, and if you can see on the very, very top, it's a helicopter. Okay, so she would make these full scale, incredible, incredible, incredible sculptures. Here's another one. She took a real VW Volkswagen Beetle, took apart all of the seats, the motor, everything. She created a, a maquette, which is like a small kind of a, a, a small little version of it. Okay. And then she created this fiberglass, which is a kind of a, um, a moldable plastic around the outside of it for the arms and the legs put on the spikes. And then she painted it. So she would make these large scale works. Now we're going to start with a kind of a drawing and then we'll eventually transition this to clay. You heard it. Clay. All right. So think about, you can start by kind of starting to brainstorm. What are some animals that you potentially and what are some animals? So for me, you know, I love a dog. I love a good old cat, hamster. Then I'm going to start to get, you know, I'm okay if we start to even do like, maybe I'll start to do a dinosaur. I'm a huge fan of the Allosaurus. Okay. So start to kind of brainstorm. What are the animals that you might potentially like? Then start to think about what are machine parts? What's the something that maybe could run on batteries? has a plug-in, runs with an engine or gears that you could potentially use. Now, me personally, I love things that have gears. I especially love um, bobcats. It's funny, you could have a bobcat, bobcat. Um, a bobcat that had like a big scoop on the front of it, okay? I oftentimes like, like trucks, okay? So things with big wheels, ooh. And you know what? I think I might add a tank in there. So we've got like a few options for um, both animal and then machine parts. Okay, so with that, let's start Let's start some sketches right here of how we might put these together. So I think I might even do like an Allosaurus kind of a head. So we'll definitely start with some sort of a, starting with the animal or with that dinosaur. So these could be real they could, I'm okay if they're a little bit imaginary too. Creativity, always a plus. But I think I'm going to start, here we go. I think I'm going to start to put this into, here's kind of my tank that's happening here. Okay, now whenever we start to sculpt this in clay, maybe I'll have his mouth open. How about that? Ooh, some nice juicy eyeballs up there in the top. And you know what? We'll definitely do some spikes on the back. Okay, so we're going to be thinking definitely about how we might start to form this, how eventually when we make this out of clay, it's going to be something called sculpture in the round. And sculpture in the round is when we look at something that's three-dimensional, can we see it from the top, the side, and the bottom? Can you see it from all sides? Okay, and we know something is three-dimensional oftentimes if it can cast a shadow too, okay, in real life. Now, I'm also going to try to emphasize this idea of texture. So check this out. I think I might start with kind of maybe a hairy head. Ooh, a hairy head, ew. But then I'm gonna start to make it smaller scales and then maybe bigger scales. Kind of as it gets to the tail. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, before it was just looked kind of plain and look at this, I'm gonna start to maybe smudge some of these lines, right? to start to give it kind of that machine 
look. Okay, now let's get in here. What else might we see? Maybe, oh, maybe I'll start to put some of these rough parts of the tires, maybe, inside of the tank. Yeah. Inside? But I'll tell you what, that actually would be on the outside here too, wouldn't it? Okay, so we've got texture going in lots of different directions. So again, this idea of a mechanimal, it's a mechanical animal. The things that we really want to emphasize, are we combining some sort of a dog, some sort of a cat? This is eventually, are we putting texture? Texture, remember, could be bumpy. Here's my hairy, scaly. It could have a sandy, rough kind of a texture. Maybe it has spikes. Texture shows how something feels to the touch. It can be a real texture, like the things on real objects, or it can be um, implied, so you can make it look like a certain kind of a texture, so real or implied. Sometimes people call it simulated. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that I put those two parts together. This is going to be the plan for eventually making it with clay. All right, good luck with your sketch.